Hello YouTube, it's Brad from MasonicGamer.com and tonight we're going to do a couple of little things. Firstly, we're going to do I've Got Mail, a new segment that, if you watched my last video, was mainly a trade video. Everything that I had in the video was up for trade and what I wanted you to do was to choose what you wanted out of that video and just send me something in return. Yeah, If you watch the channel, you'll know what I collect, you know what I like. Um, I think six people requested stuff. Out of the six parcels that went out, I've now received two packages. So there's another four packages to come in hopefully one day. Uh, hopefully soon. I don't know. But yeah, so the people that got stuff was... Who ended up getting things? It was... Wally Weeble, Richard Turner, Gashead London Retro Gaming, Gashead London Boy, whatever his name is now. Gashead, Stephen, uh, Ray Shand, and Monkey Spaz, 5000, and the last one was, oh, could I forget, Grub Gun. So it's a package on its way over to Canada, which is great. So, out of them six packages that I've got out, I've received two packages. Now, I've not, all I've done with the packages is open the tops of them because they're taped down. So I've just nipped the top. I've not looked in them, I don't know what they are. And I don't know where they're from. Well, I know where this one's from because it actually got his name on the back of it. But apart from that, I don't know, like I say, I don't know what's in these packages. So what I'm going to do now will be a first. So the first bit's going to be I've got mail. I'm open to do that every Friday. And the second bit will be pickups. Now, the I've got mail thing, if you go back, there's still items available to trade if you want to go and have a look what there is. Some of the items I've got, if you read the comments down below, you'll see what people have got anyway, and what's left in the video. I'm going to be doing a new trade video every month with the same, just send me something in return. Don't tell me what it is, just send me something in return. Um, so keep an eye out for that. If there's nothing in this video, there might be something next month for you. So let's get on with I Got Mail. Now the first package is from... Now I'm just pointing up there because obviously I've not edited yet and I haven't got uh, Evo Haler's time machine so I can't go forward and make sure that it is off this person before I put the fucking picture up there. Otherwise, anyway, you know what I mean. So yes, it's off this person here. And in fact, I do know this one's off. It's off Duncan because it's got his name on the back. So Duncan, there's a note in there. Brilliant, I don't know what the game is. Um, so there's a note for Duncan. Now Duncan had Mega Man X for the GameCube. So he's going for a complete GameCube collection. I think he needs like 72 titles now for a complete collection, which is really good going. And the note reads, Paul, cheers for Mega Man X on the cube. I have, enclosed, I have enclosed a cube game in return. Thank you. Of all the duplicates I have, it's probably the harder to find and of greater value. Now, the trade stuff per se is not all about value because a lot of the stuff I haven't paid full price for anyway, unless it's some of the PlayStation 2 games, which I won't be trading because a lot of them have had since I bought them new. So, um, so I wouldn't worry too much about value. It's more thinking about what I would like in return, so you, you get what I mean anyway. Um, hope you're happy. Well, I've actually seen it and I'm very happy because I don't own it. If not, uh, let me know and I will sort something out. Stay happy, Duncan Wally Weevil. Now, these people will be down in the description below, people I've done trades with. So, it's happy to a shout out, isn't it, for everybody? Anybody that gets traded, it's a little shout out. And like Scott Sega Saturn Lab was saying, you know, shout outs are very important. Um, so go and check them out. If you like what you see, go and give them a sub. Tell them I've sent you. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. But I would have thought these two people you follow anyway, because they are known in the community. Well, I'm not quite sure if that's off, but I would have thought the six people I've traded with, you all follow, so whoever that one's off, then, yeah. And I don't own this. In fact, I only actually own one of this series of game um, on the PlayStation 2. And I really enjoy it. And there are games I am on the lookout for, when I go out, I am on pickups, but I don't never seem to find any of them. I think they're quite popular, people keep hold of them. Uh, it's boxed and complete, and it is Star Wars 2, the original trilogy for the GameCube. And he's got it sending stuff, which includes a little bubble wrap in there, which is absolutely brilliant, um, to protect the disc. So, Duncan, Wally Weeble, thank you very much. Really is appreciated. I don't own it, and I'm looking forward to playing it. I'll go up in the collection and I'll play it. In fact, it'll go into my games in the moment, which I'll be doing probably after this video. So, I do want to play it. Excellent. Thank you, Duncan. And the next package is off this person. Again, I don't know who it's off. There's no name on the back, it's got my name on the front. So, I 
Fiend can always off because he, 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 he sent me a message a PM and told me that he'd said something. So I've got an idea of it. I think this person up here right now is Richard Turner. And I've got, I'm getting to know Richard Turner quite well. We talk on Facebook and stuff. And top guy, really is top guy. He's got a nice collection into his toys, his trucks, he's, he's into everything. I'm looking forward to having a beer with you, Richard. I presume it is Richard, not a little like a dick. But yeah, it's from Richard. Excellent. Oh, Richard, you've sent way too much here, mate. Way too much for that game, but uh, thank you anyway. Right, so a little note. It says, Hi Paul. Thanks for the trade, mate. Hope the games get to you okay. Keep it retro. Plus, I'll see you in Blackpool. All the best, mate. Richard. Richard Turner. So, that's a little note there. That's going in my little drawer of all my notes that I have received in the past. I do keep them all. They don't go in the bin. And I traded Richard. It was a Master System game. Brain's like a sieve at the moment. Master System, Master System. It was Back to the Future Part 2 for the Master System. Now, I don't own a Master System. I don't collect from the Master System. Uh, it's just a system I'm not bothered with. But I did notice a couple of people have stated that that is probably the worst game for the Master System. So, sorry about that, Richard, but that's what you wanted. And you've sent me three PlayStation 2 games in return, which one of these would have been absolutely fine, Richard, honestly. Um, but I do appreciate it, and I've just looked at all the titles, and I don't own them, which is pretty rare because I've got a lot of PlayStation 2 games. But, <laughs> have you and Duncan been talking? Um, the, the first one is Lego Star Wars, the original trilogy, the PlayStation 2. So, <laughs> I've got a PlayStation 2 and GameCube in one week, brilliant. The next one is another Lego Star Wars one, and it's Lego Star Wars, the video game for the PlayStation 2. I don't own it, thank you very much Richard. And finally is a game that I think completes my the series for the PlayStation 2 for me, which I'm pretty... I definitely haven't got it. I'm sure it's the last one I needed on the PlayStation 2 to complete the series. And it's Tomb Raider um, Anniversary. I don't own it. And these look absolutely amazing. They really do. Box and the disc. They're all box complete. Wow, they look really good. Thank you, Richard. Honestly, one of them would have been fine. Thank you very much. Like I say, all the names are down below. Like I said, there should be another four packages coming to me, hopefully, this week. I know two have definitely got theirs, and two should have theirs in the next couple of days. I don't know about the one in Canada. Um, you know what the flights are like to Canada, and weather, and blah, blah, blah. But it's on its way, so it could take... The guy told me it could take up to 30 days, which... I don't know it could take up to 30 days to get a package from here to Canada, so... It's had 5 to 30 days, which is a big period of time. But anyway, it's on its way. Right, pickups. So, today, I ship the missus off with the kids. So, I've got a long weekend. They've gone away down south um, to great-grandparents or grandparents, great-grandparents for the children, uh, for a long weekend. It's, of course, half-term, so it tends to happen for the first half-term. I get the place to myself. And, able to play video games, catch up with some work and do all the other shit you need to do. But she left me some spending money, which is really nice. So as soon as she was out the door, I was out to the um, charity shops. So <laughs> I had to go and get something for dinner anyway. I've got a nice piece of steak. So my me first pickup was a piece of steak. Well, I just had that for my dinner, so I can't show you. It's fucking beautiful. I really do have a good, really, really good um, butcher in Bramall where I live. Really, there's two butchers and the beautiful. The homemade sausages are really nice. They do, um, like it's pork and cheese and a pork and cider sausage. Oh. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> if you ever come to my house, we'll go over there and we'll have a fry up. We'll get some sausage and bacon and stuff and we'll have a good fry up because they're fucking beautiful. A bit pricey. None of this fucking shit you get from the supermarket. Quality pigs in that butcher. Quality pigs, I tell you. But anyway, she left me some money. I'm going off on one now about bacon. Um, and I decided instead of buying food with that, I don't really want a takeaway or anything like that. I've got food in the fridge and stuff in the freezer. And, you know, being an ex chef, I'm sure I can cope for four days with what's in the house. So I took myself out and hit the charity shops. Um, there was actually two things in the local charity shop, but they're the best items, so I'll probably save them till the end. Um, oh, there's three things in that charity shop. But they are the best items, so I will send them to save them once they So yeah, the charity shops where I live in Bravall, the six charity shops, um, one of them still 
Cancer Research still has the PlayStation 3 games in there. Now these PlayStation 3 games, I've mentioned it before in a video, they've been in since about November. They originally had them listed at, I think it was $24.99. Then she dropped them to $19.99. There's 10 games in total. And now they're down to £10. And they still haven't sold. The 10 games are still on that shelf and they haven't sold. So I've asked her a couple of times now if she's going to reduce the games. I mean, at the end of the day, then games, I can go to a CAX in Stockport, which is about 15 minutes in a car, 10, 15 minutes on a train. Um, pick them games up, the whole lot of them, for between 8 and 12 quid for all 10 of them. So, we've been a charge shot, I've offered her 15 quid for them. I uh, said, so listen, that's overpriced, but I wouldn't mind the games in my collection. Now, these games are shit. They're the FIFA, there's PES, there's a couple of Army of Twos, there is... I can't remember the other ones. But, you know, they're not massive titles, but the titles I don't have in my PlayStation 3 collection. And, we've been a charity shop, all ten of them are there, I'd take them off for 15 quid. Just put them in the collection. And she has told me now, three times, that she will not sell them for that price. She wants £100. She's willing to go... And she said £90. She wants not £10 off. They're just not worth it. I've even shown her on my phone. I've shown her eBay and I've shown her CEX. I've shown her the price, the price they pay for, that they give you for them, which is probably between, I think one of them they don't take anymore, um, between 20 and 80 pence for some of them and one or two of them is a quid or something like that. And their sale prices, which again is about you know, pound to £2.50. They're not expensive games at all. But she just won't have them. She just will not have them. In fact, if there's a little pause here, now that might have been a little video from that charity shop showing you £10. Um, but she just won't have it. She just won't have it at all. She's said they're going to sell. She's had games in before and they've sold. Now, the games she's had in before, they've sold because I bought them because the price has been right. <laughs> um, but, yeah, she just won't listen to me. So, anyway, that's my right about the charity shop. I'm not buying from there anyway. Um, the actual good games I got from um, actually Oxfam today, which is really surprising. And my last hit as well was from Oxfam. Now Oxfam usually really overpriced their games in the village where I live. But for some reason these were really good value. And they were all 2 dollars I'll show you them in a minute. So anyway, went for the six charity shops. Only the one charity shop had games in, which I'll show you at the end. So we'll do it back to front because they're the better games. Um, I decided to take myself to Stockport. Now in Stockport you've got CX, cash generators, fucking charity shops, game. Granger games, the fucking works. The lot of them, they're all there. Um, I've just smuggled these up. Oh, no, two thousand months. So, Stockport, I managed to find, well, this is quite funny actually. In, what's it fucking called? There's cash generators, I think it is. It's still got the little tab on it. It was, yeah, cash generators. 99 pence. And for some reason, it was listed with Mega Drive because there were two Mega Drive games in there. One was, Cart only, one was Altered Beast, which I've already got, and the other one was Golf 96, something big cart with the yellow bit on the side of the battery. Didn't want it anyway, I've already got it. But they had this one listed with the Mega Drive set for 99 pence, still got the little sticker on it, it even says Mega Drive game, I don't know where they got that from. And it is Dr. Driller. And it's still got the sticker on the back there for 99 pence. So, it's not a bad game, I can remember playing this back in the day and for 99 pence, I wouldn't mind it back in the collection, I'd like to get the box stuff, I'll look on eBay, uh, unless any of you guys have got the box. So for 99 pence I thought that was a good deal, I know they sell quite well still, they still have the value quite well this game. So and it all works, I've tried it all out, it works absolutely perfect. Uh, the next game's from the same place, oh um, yeah that was from Generators, for 2 99 PlayStation 3, it is Street Fighter, X Tekken. So that was 2 99 from there, so I got them two from there. Uh, the other one was from, I think it was Cancer Research in, in Stockport, not my local one. And it was, it was 1 99. Is that a 1 99 or 2 49? I can't remember. I think it was 1 99. But it's Alone in Dark, Alone in the Dark Inferno. A title that I've not got. I, I like the Alone in the Dark series on the PlayStation 1. Um, never played it on the PlayStation 3, so I picked it up. Maybe it's shy, maybe it's good, I don't know. Let me know down below if you've played it. Now, back to where I started in my village, which is Bramall. Oxfam. Now, all these were $2.99. And some cracking finds. Really, really cracking finds there. So I went to Oxfam, 
little story. And usually, like I said in my last video that I got the pickups, they have shite in there, they have nothing, they have really bad games. And I always ask the old day behind the counter, you know, Margaret, her name is. You got any games in the back, Margaret? No, love, all the games come out on the shelves. No, they come out, we price them, we put them on the shelves. <coughs> Fair enough. Um, and the last time, it was the same story. This time, Margaret, have you got any games in the back? The same ones down here, fucking sports shit. She said, oh yes, we do actually, we've just priced them up, we haven't come on the shelves yet, I'll go and get them, they're in a basket. Now she brought a basket out, and on top of the basket was fucking FIFA on the PlayStation 1, FIFA on the PlayStation 2, Pro Evolution on the PlayStation 2, all at 2 99 all these were. Not worth it, I do collect for them, I do collect, so I probably would have got them, you know, just because I collect, if the condition was right. But I've already got them anyway, I know the price isn't right. Um, I can't remember, there's Theme Hospital for the PlayStation 1. What was the other fucking game up there? Alex Ferguson, Soccer Manager, something like that anyway, for the PlayStation 1. So they were on top of the basket, and I thought, oh, here we go, it's a load of shite. Moved them to one side, and found these. So, for £2.99, which one am I going to go for first? This world on the PlayStation 1. It absolutely mint. I don't think it's ever played. The manual, everything is absolutely mint. I'm not going to open them, you know what they're like. Um, really is mint game. Next one, again, 2 99 from Oxfam. DK, King of the Swingers, boxed complete. The cart is still in its little plastic wrapper. Um, it's a shame the box is a little bit sticky and fresh and do there. It's you know, a little bit, the box isn't too bad. But it's a little bit curled up on the edge there. But for two ninety nine for a boxed Game Boy Advance game that still holds its value quite well. Box complete. It's even got the Nintendo points in there. Everything's in there. The manual is mint. The game, like I say, it's still in its little baggy. Absolutely perfect. Two ninety nine. Next one. Two ninety nine. PlayStation One. The only reason I picked this up is because it's still factory sealed. And because I collect PlayStation One, if I see something factory sealed, even if it's not worth two ninety nine, I'm going to pick it up. But it's um, Rally Championships. Factory Seals, 2 And final one, 2 .99. Boxed complete in absolute mint condition. That's it for the disc has just come out on me. In fact, this one doesn't even look like it's been played. Final Fantasy VIII, 2 .99. So that's the plot now and the block label got completed. Um, so yeah, not a bad day, not a fucking really good day in fact, um, brilliant, I just couldn't believe it again. So, they are my pickup videos, that's my I've Got My Own video, I'm Brad from MasonicGamer.com, and as always guys, keep gaming! <laughs>